All right, welcome back. So in the last video, we handled uh, protected routes here. And now we actually wanna make our login and our sign up form not look uh, like complete garbage. So let's do a little styling. So we'll style our login and our sign up form and that will be it. So let's uh, get into it. All right, so let's just take a look at what we're working with right now. So this is what our login form looks like right now. We wanna make it look a little more similar to a uh, Twitter login. So let's uh, add some stuff to our login and our signup and get it going. Okay, so let's come over to our login.tsx right now. And we're gonna come in and just add a few class names and then we'll style it up uh, in some CSS after that. So let's come down um, and actually let's come over first into our SRC and we're gonna create a new folder here. So come into here and create a new folder and we're gonna call it styles. Inside our style file here, let's create a new file and we'll just go login.css. That'll be our for our login page. And actually let's add, we're gonna add one more thing here. So come over and add another folder and we'll call it assets. And inside here, we're gonna have uh, images and what other sort of assets we need. So I have a Twitter logo that I am going to uh, paste in here, but you can just find one either from uh, the GitHub or, um, or from uh, Google. So I'm gonna paste this in and this just looks, uh, it's just a Twitter logo, it won't show up in my VS code, but you'll see it in a second. So it's just a PNG file and that will be our logo for this. Okay, so let's come back over and add these uh, class names over to here. So there's not a ton we have to add, but there is a few things. So come down here and we're gonna change a few things here. So let's come in here and we're gonna change this to an H3 and then we're gonna change this to uh, login to, we'll just call it fake Twitter here because that's what it is, a fake Twitter. All right, so then come up here and above this, we're, this is where we're gonna have our logo. So let's, we're gonna go IMG for image tag and then SRC and then we're gonna have to bring this in. So we'll bring it in as Twitter uh, logo, like that, okay? And then we'll have our alt here and that's just gonna say logo. Okay, great. And then we are gonna have our style. I'm gonna style tag here and just give it a width so it's not bigger than, uh, not too big. So it's gonna be 50 picks. And then below that, we're gonna have a class name and that is gonna be equal to uh, logo. Okay, and then make sure we close this off here and that's all good. Now, as you can see here, uh, the Twitter logo, we haven't brought that in. So come up to the top and we gotta import that. So we're gonna go import, uh, we called it Twitter logo, I think. And that is gonna be from and it is dot dot slash styles slash what assets slash uh, Twitter dash logo dot PNG. Okay, so that's good for that. Let's come back down and finish up adding our other uh, class names here. So most of these we're just gonna hit by uh, the form element or whatever, but we are gonna add a couple things, so so I can just go dot register and that will give me a div with the class name of register. And then inside here, we got an H4. Okay, and that's gonna say, uh, don't have an account, question mark. And then below that, we're gonna have a link. And we need to bring that in. Okay, and that's from React Router DOM. And this is just gonna link to our uh, slash sign up. Okay, close that off. And in here, we're just gonna say sign up. So if you don't have an account, this is just gonna be a link to our sign up page. And that is all for that. Okay, and then what else do we have in our uh, submit button here? We're gonna have a class name on here. So let's go class name and that's gonna equal login dash uh, button here. Okay, and that'll say login. All right, and this login here, we actually wanna put in a span. 
Okay, and we'll just say login again. Okay, and then go ahead and save that. Now, what we need to do is come over to our login.css and add all our styles here. But before we do that, I wanna do a little introduction into CSS variables here. Um, so CSS variables will allow you to add variable names to handle whatever it is, certain styles throughout uh, your entire application. So what I wanna do is I wanna come into our uh, app.css and just show you how that works. So let's go app.css here, open it up. And we don't actually want any of this here. So let's get rid of that. We don't need any of that. Okay, and then we wanna come in and I'm gonna show you how to do this. So let's go colon root, and this is CSS variables. And then in here, so in here we're just gonna go dash dash main dash color. So this is gonna be the main color for our app and it's gonna be the Twitter color. So I'm gonna paste uh, the color I have for this. So I'm gonna paste the color I have for this here. Okay, and that's good for that. And then the next one we're gonna have is gonna be button dash hover dash color. Okay, and then again, let me paste this in here. Okay, and that's all we're gonna have for our first two. So basically the root element is just gonna allow you access to these variables throughout your entire application. Um, so that's gonna be that for that. And then we also want to bring in to here, we're gonna import um, our dot slash styles slash login dot CSS. And this is gonna be available uh, throughout our application as well. So let's go ahead and save that. We can get rid of this for now. And now let's come in and actually uh, code these styles up. So I might fast forward through some of this cause it's gonna be uh, pretty boring watch me type CSS, but uh, we'll show the end result and I'll also have it on, uh, on the GitHub so you can check it out. Okay, and now just to show you in here, this is how we're gonna use a CSS variables. So what we wanna do is go var, so it's gonna be the variable, and then we just pass in the variable. So it's just dash dash main dash color is what we called it. Okay, and that's basically how you use uh, CSS variables. <laughs> So that is quite a lot of style in here. Let's just go over it. We got our div, we got our background color for our entire, um, our entire screen here. We got our logo uh, component here. Uh, we got, we're just hitting our form instead of uh, class names. We're hitting input instead of that. Uh, and then we got some button stylings here and uh, login. And we also have a register uh, for the uh, button that goes back to the sign up page. All right, so I think let's uh, maybe take a look at this. All right, so this is what we're looking at here. This is our sign up page here. And then if we click sign up, we come back to here. Now we need to add a couple stylings to our sign up page as well, because as you can see, our button's off here as well as uh, our sign up and we don't have any logo. So let's come back and add these to our sign up page. All right, so let's come down to the bottom here and add in uh, a few things. So we're gonna have a dot register uh, div here. And inside of this div, we're gonna have an h4 again. And this is, says already, uh, what? Have an account, question mark. So if they already have an account, then we're gonna hit this link here and bring that in from React Router DOM. Okay, and that's gonna be two, and that's gonna equal slash login. Okay, and close that off and say uh, log in down here. Okay, save that, let's see if that works. Oh, we're getting a little error here. Okay, so this needs, to, we just gotta bring this outside here. Come down, save that. Okay, and now we have this here. So I already have an account, log in, it'll bring us over to here. 
and then sign up will bring us here. Now we want to get this logo uh, and then this over and this button fixed. So let's uh, handle that real quick. All right, so come back up to the top again. And here again, we want to go each three and we'll say sign up. And then above that, all right, and then above here, we want to get the same thing. So we can just come back over to our login here and we can just copy this over right here. This image from there, bring it back over here, paste that in. Okay, and then we got to bring this in here. So come back up to the top, import Twitter logo from dot dot slash styles slash assets slash Twitter dash logo dot dot PNG. Okay, and then that, go ahead and save that. Now let's take a look, refreshes, and that's all good. And now the last thing, this button here. So let's go ahead and fix that. So come back down to the bottom here, and this is the button we wanna fix. So we wanna add a couple things. One thing we wanna add is a class name to this. So let's add, we can just add the same class name for the login and the sign up. All right, so the class name is gonna be equal to login dash button there. And then we also wanna go like this and add a span here. And then inside that span is where we wanna put the uh, sign up button here. So go ahead and save that. Come back over. Now we got a beautiful button. When it hovers, it gets a little darker. We got our sign up and we have uh, everything working pretty good here. That uh, spacing's a little off, but don't worry about that for now. We can go ahead and fix that another time. All right, and then if we click that, it goes to login. Okay, so I think that is the styling for our uh, fake Twitter here, uh, for our sign up and our login. Not the best looking thing ever, but it actually, if you go to the Twitter, it actually looks somewhat similar. So not crazy off. Uh, again, this isn't a CSS course, but hopefully that was uh, that was helpful anyways. All right, in the next one, uh, either we're gonna start working on our backend and our model, or we're gonna maybe style our, uh, we'll have a, a landing page or something. So thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one.